Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing a first impressions review on the world's most full coverage foundation, the Dermacol foundation. I have seen this everywhere, all over the internet, and I'm really nervous to give it a go, to be honest. I have seen a lot of people absolutely love this, and a lot of people are actually a bit um, freaked out by how full coverage it is and says it's cakey and all that random stuff. So I'm going to give it a go. I got the shade 208 because it was the palest shade. And oh my god, this is so small. So I'm just going to have a look at the instructions because it does come with instructions. Clinically tested, hypoallergenic, high cover, Dermacol makeup cover is one of the first cover makeup products released on the world market. Its formula was developed in the Barrendorf Film Studios in Prague for professional makeup artists and subsequently sold in Hollywood. Its unique creamy consistency, consistency containing 50% of pigments, hides uneven skin colour and blemishes, which I need right now because my skin is atrocious, smooths the skin and gives it a velvety matte appearance. Dermacol makeup cover provides the skin with intense protection against UV radiation, which is SPF 30. SPF 30. It's pretty good, but it means there will be flashback as well as against the harmful effects of the environment. It can be used on the entire face and body for colour correction, lightening or darkening skin tones, or for professional makeup applications such as photography, modelling and special occasions. Its long lasting effect is ideal for covering minor flaws or extensive skin defects such as dark circles under the eyes, scars, spots, loss of pigment and blemishes. It improves the appearance of tired, pale skin, giving it a refreshed look and revitalised complexion. Applied over a base cream, it can be combined with other makeup products from the Dermacol range. Dermacol makeup cover is water resistant and has been dermatologi dermatologically tested and it is suitable for all skin types. So it says to apply onto the skin gently with the fingers or a makeup sponge. Easy peasy. So I'm going to go, I have to find my sponge first. I'm going to go dampen my sponge and I'll be right back. Okay I'm back and I was showing off my dress and forgot I stopped recording so sorry. Let's have a go at this. <laughs> I'm really nervous. Okay. Oh my god it's like a paste. I'm just going to take a little bit because the stuff is really full coverage so I just really want to see how far it will go. Can you see it? Yeah. I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> okay, so I just smeared it on my skin and I'm going to dab it out with this one. Holy smokes, okay. Now it's a little bit pink, so I suck at colour choosing them. To be honest though, the stuff, this shade was the yellower shade available. Um, the one, the next shade up was really, really pink on the swatch. Okay, so I don't even know if you can see this, this is half and half. Definitely helps cover all my foundation, but it's definitely not full coverage yet. I only used a little bit though, um, but it definitely does help to hide these. It definitely helps to hide the under eye circles. Okay. so dry like I can't imagine this being nice on anyone with dry skin doesn't feel heavy though I will admit it doesn't feel heavy at all all right so this is one layer all over just a small blob of the product really I mean it's not bad Skin does look quite dry with it though. Okay. Okay, so let's do another layer and see how it goes. Oh god, this 
stuff just spreads so easily. Holy moly. One note, my sponge doesn't like to pick it up. Like, at all. Okay, so I look ridiculous right now because it's so pale. And it's quite pink still. Very pink. Um, I don't know if you can see my neck, the colour difference. Look how pink that is compared to my normal skin. I mean, it's not bad, but it definitely feels, um, doesn't feel heavy on the skin, which is a bonus. Um, it doesn't feel thick. I mean, I'm not disappointed. It did feel like my sponge was drying up really fast using it. Just press it with my setting spray and I'm just gonna... Don't that helped. It feels better now. It feels less um, dry. So now, I'm gonna do a quick flash test and see how it looks in flash because right now I look, I look ghosty at the best of time already. But because I've got my chest exposed, you should be able to see the colour difference. Um, so I'm going to stop recording, flash test, and come back, okay? Okay, so it does kind of look like it's got flashback. But I think a lot of it is because it is so pale as well. Like, I'm really pale right now. And I think it just looks like it's flashbacking a bit. It is doing some flashback definitely because I'm a lot whiter in the flash. Um, but still, a little bit, a fair bit actually. Um, so I don't really see how this could be used for photography at all really. So I'm going to conceal and set like I normally would. And then I will come back and let you know how it feels set. And then I will do the rest of my makeup, come back after I've finished that, let you know how all the products went on on top. And then I'll come back before I go to work. And then I'll come back and let you know how it feels at the end of the day. Okay, I am back and I've set my face. What I found is even after setting my face lightly with the Australis Fresh and Flawless Press Powder, which is my favourite go-to powder, I was still a bit tacky, so I had to add a little bit extra on. Um, foundation didn't like being powdered on the nose. I don't know if you can see it, um, it's a little bit splotchy. Yeah, you can. It's, um, it's really powdery and splotchy now. And under the eyes did not like being set with a translucent powder with my damp sponge. Did not like that. But yeah, I'm a little bit patchy, a little bit splotchy. I look really dry. Really dry. I hate looking this dry. Um, it's definitely a matte finish. It's definitely a matte finish though, for real. Um, okay, so let's see how this goes with the rest of my makeup. So I'll be back in like an hour and I will let you know how it's feeling. It looks dry, it doesn't feel dry. It feels like I've got nothing on my face, which is always good. So that is a bonus point for the Dermacol foundation. It doesn't feel heavy. Yeah. So I am going to come back after the rest of my makeup is on and I want you know how it went with applying everything on top of it. Because at the moment I'm a little bit nervous, to be honest, I'm quite nervous, so we'll be back soon, okay? See you soon. Okay, makeup is done. It's like an hour later, roughly. Um, one thing I noticed in particular when applying my face like my bronzing and stuff, um, is on my nose. When I went to bronze my nose, a lot of the foundation came off. Um, I've covered it with highlighter at the moment, so it's kind of chunky looking. Can you see how ugly that is? Like, I hate my nose at the best of times, but right now it's fucking ugly. Um, 
Also, texture. Every single speck of texture on my face right now is being amplified by this foundation. Normally I don't notice it so much without foundation or with other foundations. For example, the LA Girl, I don't notice it at all. Like, I don't notice the big splat, big patches of pores and acne scarring. I don't see dryness, I don't see any lines or anything, but with the Dermacol I'm seeing every single bit of it. And I hate it. <laughs> I really hate it. I don't know if it's because it's a matte foundation or if I'm just particularly textured at the moment. I know I'm acne textured, but a lot of this isn't acne. This is a lot of lines under my eyes. Looks horrendous. I don't know if you can see that. Like, my under eyes look fucking awful. So... Honestly, if you have texture, I wouldn't touch this stuff with a 10 foot pole. Because every single speck of it is being amplified by... Like, oh my god. Look at all this. I don't know if you can see it. See all of this dryness, lumps, bumps. I know I had acne. I'm well aware. I see it every day. Every time I look in the mirror, I get disgusted at how much acne I have at the moment. Nothing helps. I use high-end, salon quality skincare every day. So that's just something to keep an eye on. If you've got texture, be careful. You'll need to exfoliate before you even go near this. Moisturize with a really heavy moisturizer overnight, almost. But then be careful of that because that can cause acne and block pores so you kind of have to find a balancing act if you've got dry skin i wouldn't touch this foundation it's just so dry like i have oily skin and my skin is looking like a desert right now and it's just too dry so just keep an eye on that um it is currently quarter past 12 so I'm going to go about my day, watch some MasterChef and edit, such as my days these days. I have work at 4, so I will check in at about 3 o'clock before the sun goes down. We lose the sun at my house about 3.30, so hopefully there's a little bit of sun left for filming. Um, I'll let you know how it's going, then I'll go to work and come back and I will do my final check-in before bed. So I'll be back in a few hours. Just. Hang tight, I'll see you in a second. Hello, okay, this is the three o'clock chicken. Um, it is just hit three o'clock. Now, I am on my phone on the selfie camera, so it may not be great quality. Um, <laughs> sorry. But, um, I am starting to get really oily on my t-zone especially around my nose and cheeks i am really starting to get quite oily um i don't know if you can see that no okay i can't focus any closer um but around here this bit oily bit here is starting to get oily on the forehead as well um, it's getting to the point where it's so oily it is starting to break up a little bit on the nose and on this bit here. This little patch of skin right here is starting to go really funky. So, it's not ideal. It hasn't been a particularly hot day today. I think maximum of like 13 degrees. Um, it has been sunny but not hot sunny. It's the typical winter's day in Picton at the moment. Um, I mean, I'm wearing lace, so it's not like it's hot. Um, so, it's not holding on as well as I'd hoped. It's been on for about four hours. And it is starting to break up already. And it's not even a particularly sweaty day. Or a hot day, or anything like that. It's just, you know. Man, you can see how it will. Oh, look how crooked my face is. This freaking droop. I need like Botox up here to lift up the side of my face a bit because it's really bad. Look how droopy this is. Oh. Sounds ridiculous, but it really gets me down. Um, 
So I have work in an hour, so I will check in once I get back from that. So I will let you go now and I'll be back in like three hours for the next chicken and then after that one more and I'll let you know what I think about it. I'm a bit disheartened and a bit let down from this foundation so far but then again most foundations don't hold on for this long anyway on me with my oily skin so we'll have to see. Yeah, we'll have to see. Uh, yeah. See you in a bit. Hey guys. So, it's about 9.30 at night and I'm about to go to bed and I just wanted to do a phone check in. Uh, I know I didn't do one at 6 o'clock when I got home but really I just forgot. I just wanted to have dinner and just chill. So, that's what I did. Um, as you can see, I am an absolute oil slick look at that shine all across my nose look how thick and oily that is it looks horrendous also see how dark and orange like yellow i am compared to my neck that is really weird i just noticed that now um i, I look really strange and i don't really like it right now i'm really upset about how it's not quite as yellow in person, but under these fluorescent lights they are. I am currently in my beauty room. This is where I work. Um, I will do a tour when it's tidy up because at the moment it's just messy because I don't put things away. <laughs> I'm terrible. Um, so I'm just gonna this is where I work. I don't film in here, I film in my bedroom. Um, so this is where I do my lash extensions and this is where I will hopefully be doing my makeup artistry as well. Once that gets up and running, you know, I, I do offer makeup artistry a fair bit if you want it. Um, but I just need it to see the chin. Lipstick, I think. <laughs> um, anyway, doesn't matter. So, I'm oily really oily like look at that it's like melting off me um i still wouldn't say it's full coverage maybe if i layered it up some more or if i put more on maybe if i apply it with a brush although i really wouldn't want to wear this with a, use a brush with this just because it would be really hard to apply it was pretty easy to apply with a sponge but uh, I can't imagine it being easy with anything else. The colour change has been quite drastic. Um, when I put it on it was very very ghosty, very very pale and then it oxidised to match me perfectly at about three hours. That's when I last spoke to you guys, at about the three hour mark. And now it's really yellow and it started off being quite pink, which is just, we can see this yellow greeny cast, and I don't know what it's from. Anyway, all as fuck, I don't want to touch that, I'm just gonna, can you see the fingerprint now? And on my finger is just oil and transfer, that looks ridiculous, oh my god, okay, I'm gonna clean it out now, from where I blotted that. I can't wait to wash this off, honestly my face feels disgusting, like it's so greasy and it's so gross, um, but it has been on for about 10 hours, which is a long time. I would expect a mattifying foundation to last a bit longer and to actually mattify properly. Um, it was alright for about 2 hours and then it started going funky. So maybe I need to trial it with a setting spray or something so that it won't go funky. Um, but this is not attractive. I couldn't wear this out after a day of work at all. I'd have to re-powder, re-blush, re-highlight, re-contour, everything because it's just gone. Um, 
you know I like I like I need to try it more to know how I really feel about it so final thoughts it's an okay foundation it's very dry so if you've got dry skin don't go near it I did become an oil slick after a few hours and it's just gotten worse throughout the day so I would be careful if you have combination skin I maybe would suggest this but only in the oily spots and set it really well um, I wouldn't go near your dry patches with it because it just wouldn't work really like I can't imagine how awful my skin would feel if I had dry skin like it would be like a desert it would be fucking awful um the shade was okay but it has changed strangely throughout the day yeah so I'm low key quite disappointed as I am with most first impressions so I'm gonna see how I go over the next few weeks trialing it out some more and I will update you in the videos I use it in um, and see how I like it versus now because I'm kind of I'm on the fence. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and leave a little comment down below. Uh, if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe before you leave. I'd really appreciate it. Uh, all of my social media links will be down in the description as always. As will all of the links to the music used in the background of this video. Uh, yeah, I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye. Thank you.